Hi, I'm Chaitanya Bhatti and this documentary will give you an insight into the lives of people I've documented who are from different backgrounds and stages of life. When I started researching about social anxiety, I saw a lot of I saw a lot of solutions online and also through apps etc but I didn't really want to work with them. I wanted to study real life scenarios and learn from them. And also when I did a few initial interviews what I learned was that people already know the solutions and they don't want to know them again and again. What they want to see are real stories and probably take anxiety in a light way and probably laugh about it. So the first person I interview is a designer, Hitain. Hi, my name is Hitain Noonwal. I belong to Delhi. My mom is from Haryana and my dad is from Rajasthan. I am working as a fashion designer with Nan Gairaj. I have done my schooling from Kendra Halepitampura and my bachelor's from College of Art. And then I have done my master's from NID Ahmedabad. Uh, in my school time, I was always into art, fashion, performances, drawing, painting. So I thought I should pursue my career as a designer and artist. Anxiety is a situation where you feel worried about the experience you, you face from people, from society, from anywhere. It is a situation where you feel very sad and you don't know what to do. You just go deep inside it and you are just worried. In my school time, uh, I was left alone because of the way I was. I was different. Uh, I don't know if I was different, but people told me that you are different and I d we don't want to sit with you. They used to say, "Ke saath mat baitho," you know, "iske jaise ban jaoge." And I was, I was like, "What is so different about me?" And I was so worried. What is it? What is it? I thought I will improve it if there is something wrong, but it was not anything wrong. It, situation, everything was really fine with me, but people made me realize that I am different, and that's why I was worried, and I was looking for a way, like to solve it. In terms of my way of talking, walking, my expressions, the way I deliver my dialogues, the way I do conversation, my expressions, everything. It was different that they were like, you are a boy and you behave like a girl. This was different. They told that you, have, you are different. I thought it's wrong. I tried to change it, but I could not change it. And later I realized it is this natural. I don't need to change it. I was not wrong. It was those people, they were wrong. It is when a lot of people, they tell, everyone is telling you, you are wrong, you are different. Wherever you go, your school, your family, strangers, everyone is telling you, this is wrong with you. You are like this, why, why this, why that? And I was like, oh my God. So that was, I, like, I refer that as social anxiety because society was telling me, you are someone different. So in my school time, when people were telling me, I thought I'm really different and you know, it is a disease or something and I should do something about it. I told my parents and they said, it's, it's nothing wrong with you because I don't know, they didn't realize it. Maybe because they, was, they were seeing me because I was always there with them and they, are used to, they were used to it, I think. But in my school and wherever are strangers, they don't know it. They are not used to it. So they think I am different. So in starting, I was, I was like, I, I should do something, but I couldn't do anything. So I was looking for acceptance. So I started writing poems, paintings, and I was trying to convey, you know, my emotions through my poems and paintings. This is how I was overcoming it. I, I was accepting myself, but because I knew it is not nothing wrong with me, you know. So I, I accepted it that yes, this is what I am, and I don't care for the people, because you know my old full school time, I, I was you know just trying to change myself, which I could not. So I accepted it, and later I, I read about it, and I I knew people in my like bachelors and masters my friends, my faculties. So this is how I learned that this is all natural. This is nothing wrong that I need to change it. I was always enjoying it, when, but whenever people say something, yes, I feel bad, but 
and now i think i have reached a level where where i don't take it that serious i take it and i i give it back through a medium of art i do a photo shoot i write something i do performances i just release my tension this is the feeling of ex ecstasy the most you can never feel you know like this i don't know how to explain it but the joy you feel while doing your artwork nothing can compare nothing can compete it i think healthy about it when when you face humiliation or something you become sad you 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 know you just think about it that you know he said this they said this and then you make you give yourself a solution you release it through something and that anxiety becomes a healthy anxiety because you are using it in a positive way that pushes you to do something to achieve something in your life and you feel happy about it i i think i will i would like to conclude it by saying that whatever people say whatever you feel or whatever they say we should not listen to them and we should accept ourselves because if we will accept ourselves there is nothing which can make you feel worried you know if you feel freedom if you are a free bird and you accept yourself you will fly with all the happiness after doing hitain i learned something entirely different about social anxiety that how the how it was the society which made him feel anxious whereas he was doing pretty fine with himself also he mentioned a lot about the social anxiety he faced in school so this made me very curious about how students face social anxiety in school so this led me to my next subject amadika my name is amadika mahapatra and i'm 15 i belong to delhi uh, i'm in the 10th grade at dps arkipuram um i and from what i understand from anxiety is that it's a constant worry about everything and i think everyone has almost everyone has experienced experiencing anxiety at some point in their lives social anxiety is more like worrying about all things re- related to how people look at you and how um how you interact with people worrying about that well i go to school so yes i have experienced social anxiety um there's social anxiety in terms of perf- performance anxiety this um how you manage your social life how you and i i feel like worrying about the future is also part of social anxiety because you're always looking at yourself relative to others uh, at home you have less to worry about since you don't have the social aspect of it to some extent i can't narrate any particular incident because i mean the entirety of a school day is filled with anxiety in some form whether it's you know the teacher's going to come and yell at you or something that's going on in school with, with your friends or something like that um uh, i think the best way to tackle anxiety is just it, it takes a long it takes practice and a while to get used to but you just have to get up and do whatever it is that's that you're worrying about you can't spend too much time thinking about it because then it never gets done you have to really build up your will power and do whatever it is that you're worrying about i think i'm pretty aware about anxiety and social anxiety both in myself and in others because it's 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 not hard to spot people who are anxious they and like i said almost everyone is anxious so you can kind of assume that about everyone that they are anxious they are worried about something um self awareness does help to some extent because i mean you need to know what you're worrying about and how like like i was saying about the will power you need to be aware of how much you can push yourself to you know act to do what you to act on things and so yeah self awareness does help 
I think to um, it it sounds a little obvious, but talking about things does help because when you when you talk, you most people just need someone to tell them that you know what you're thinking about is it's it's not worth wasting mind space over so talking about it i i'd say that that helps dealing with everything almost and not as a motivation but uh, i think anxiety does help in the sense it keeps you on your toes and you you can just you, you it helps you because you're so worried about everything and you're always assuming things do not work out you're always thinking of multiple ways to tackle situations and just you you think on your feet when you're anxious i think it's very important for everyone to re- realize that anxiety is a part of everyone else's lives too it's um, because until and it i can't explain how much it will help to realize that everyone is worrying about something yeah that's it i think about everything except what's happening <laughs> After interviewing Amadika, I was pretty shocked to see how aware she was about social anxiety and anxiety at that age, and how she emphasized on the comparison part of it that other people do among students. This is what made her feel anxious and makes everyone feel anxious. So after this, I was really curious to know how a parent faces anxiety at that age. So I interviewed. a lady who runs a parlor sulakshana hello mera naam sulakshana punjab ludhiana shaadi ho ke aayi thi yahan pe 10 saal ho gaye mujhe actually to to choti age mein shaadi ho gayi thi na actually to nahi kar payi aur uske baad phir shaadi ho ke aayi phir bacche aur uske baad phir aise ek din baithe baithe mann mein thi jo maine apni mother ne so bola ki mujhe mamma ye karna hai mann hai to unhone bola ha beta karo तो बस उस दिन वेस करना कि लोग थोड़े यहाँ के बिल्कुल ही मेरे लिए तो अलग थे मेरे लिए अलग थे थोड़े एटीट्यूड वाले बात उतने अच्छे से मिल के नहीं करना उन उनके लिए मैं अलग थी मेरे लिए वो अलग थे उनके लिए मैं ये थी कि मैं पंजाब से गांव से आई हूँ उन वो अपने आप को शायद सोचते थे कि हम दिल्ली के हैं पढ़े लिखे हैं मैं उनसे बात नहीं कर पाती थी ठीक से कम्फर्टेबल होकर और वो भी मेरे से नहीं करते थे इतना मैंने ऐसी मम्मी से बात की अपने तो मम्मी बोल रहे हैं कि हाँ बेटा करो फिर बट मुझे उसमें भी कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं था शौक था कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं था इतना तो मैंने बोला मम्मा कि पहले मैं किसी छोटे से सैलून से करके देखती हूँ कि मैं कर पाऊँगी कि नहीं तो उन्होंने बोला ठीक है जैसे तुम्हें ठीक लगे तो मैं पास के घर के पास एक छोटे से सैलून में गई तो वहाँ पर दो तीन महीने सीखा पर मुझे लगा कि नहीं मुझे मैं सेटिसफाई नहीं हुई वहाँ के काम से मुझे बोला नहीं मुझे सीखना है तो मुझे कुछ अच्छे से सीखना है वहाँ पर मज़ा नहीं आ रहा था फिर मैं वी एल सी सी अकेडमी में गई वहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा से मतलब किया मतलब जैसे मैं चाहती थी सब वैसे ही था तो बट वहाँ से मैंने कोर्स किया एक साल का तो उस वहाँ जाके भी वहाँ टीचर से मिलना जैसे बच्चों से मिलना मुझे लग रहा कि वहाँ ना ये मैटर नहीं कर रहा था कि आप बात कैसे करते हो आप काम कितना अच्छा कर रहे हो ना वो वहाँ पर मैटर कर रहा फिर मैंने घर से करना शुरू कर दिया छोटा छोटा करके जैसे किसी के आस पड़ोस में से किसी को बोलना कि आप आओ जैसे मेरे हस्बैंड ने बोल देना कि आप मेरी वाइफ ने काम करा आप कराने आओ तो आ जाते थे आस पड़ोस वाले लोग कभी कभी फिर धीरे धीरे कम आने लगे फिर धीरे धीरे ज़्यादा आने लगे तो फिर मैंने थोड़ा सा स्पेस घर के अंदर ही बनाया एक चेयर रख के अरमारी मिरर रखा एक फिर वो धीरे धीरे फिर और क्लाइंट आने लगे घर के अंदर ही फिर वो चेयर की कम पड़ने लगी फिर मैंने थोड़ा सा और स्पेस बढ़ाया उसमें भी मैंने काफ़ी टाइम काम किया फिर ऐसे मैंने काफ़ी अब मज़ा नहीं आ रहा था मुझे लगा था मुझे एक प्रॉपर सैलून चाहिए अब घर के अंदर नहीं करना है मुझे फिर उसके बाद घर के अंदर ही एक थोड़ी सी स्पेस बनाई जहाँ मैंने एक बेड चेयर एक शैम्पू स्टेशनर रखा तो छोटा सा पार्लर बनाया और सुंदर था और अच्छा लग रहा था वो सबको पसंद आता था पर धीरे धीरे वो मुझे लगा कि हाँ अब ये मेरे लिए बहुत है मीन्स अब मेरा मैं ऐसे यही काम करूँगी बस अब मेरा हो गया फाइनल बट नहीं मैं वहाँ पे भी काम किया वहाँ पे मेरा फिर क्लाइंट इज और बड़ा फिर मेरा वो भी छोटा लगने लगा ऐसे मैंने तीन चार बार चेंजेस किए फाइनली अब मेरा जो घर है ना वो मेरा पूरा सैलून है 
काफ़ी बड़ा और अब आज मेरे पास सात स्टाफ भी काम करते हैं घबराहट इन देंस ये है कि आप अपनी घबराहट को हमेशा लेके बैठ रहोगे तो कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे अगर आपके मन में इच्छा है ना करो हो सकता है आपसे एक बार गलत हो दो बार गलत हो पर अगर आपके मन में इच्छा है ना तो वो जरूर होता ही होता है वो ये मेरा खुद का ही एक्सपीरियंस है वो होता ही है अगर आपके मन में ही कोई इच्छा नहीं है और आप डर को ले कर बैठे रहोगे कि मैं ये नहीं कर सकती है फिर कुछ नहीं हो सकता वो बल्कि मुझे देख के बहुत सारे मेरे रिलेटिव हैं मेरी सिस्टर हैं जो इस लाइन में आए मेरे बाद में स्टार्टिंग जैसे मैं बहुत सिंपल रहती थी तो लोगों के लिए मैं तब सोचती थी कि लोग क्या कहेंगे कि कैसे हो गई है ये कैसी आई थी फिर मैं वही कि घर वालों का सपोर्ट था इधर से तो वो कहते थे कि नहीं बट जैसे फर्स्ट टाइम आपने अपनी ड्रेसअप भी चेंज किया उसमें भी लगता था अजीब सा डेबिट होगी क्योंकि घर वालों का सपोर्ट था घर वालों का सपोर्ट होता है तो फिर बाहर वालों की कोई टेंशन लेनी भी नहीं चाहिए मेरा एक बेटा अब अभी अभी इस लाइन में मेरे साथ है बट अभी वो कोर्स कर रहा है तो अभी तो उसको साल लगेगा अभी उसके बाद फिर देखते हैं उसके लिए एक और ब्रांच खोलूँगी या फिर यहीं पर अपने साथ लूँगी एक बेटा पढ़ रहा है अभी घबराहट और चिंता ये होती है ना घबराहट और चिंता लाइफ में ना आई थिंक सबको ही होती है और नए नए तरीके से आती रहती है कभी एक तरीका कुछ अलग होगा कुछ टाइम बाद अलग होगा जैसे मेरे पास स्टार्टिंग में था कि मैं मेरे को बोलने से ही डर लगता था चार लोगों के बीच में कि मैं बोल नहीं पाऊँगी और अब वो वो वाली कोई टेंशन नहीं है वो ख़त्म हो गई है बट अब कोई और तरह से आ जाती है आप बिजनेस करते हो या बाहर कुछ भी है फैमिली बच्चे बड़े हो जाते हैं तो वो अलग अलग तरीके से टेंशन बदलती रहती है आपके पर रहती है लाइफ में और उसके लिए आपको वही है कि आपको खुद ही ख़त्म करनी है अब आप सोचो कि कोई आके ख़त्म कराएगा जो आपको समझाएगा ऐसा कुछ नहीं है वो आपको खुद सोचना है आपको कैसे ख़त्म करना है आपको दवाइयों पे चले जाना है जब आपको खुद से समझाना है अपने आप को कि नहीं आपको ये टेंशन नहीं लेनी है आपको ठीक होना है तभी ये सब ठीक होगा नहीं तो नहीं होगा तो मैं वही करती हूँ बेसिकली जैसे अभी मेरे को कुछ दिन पहले एक टेंशन हुई तो बहुत ज़्यादा मुझे लगा कि मैं बीमार हूँ थी वो टेंशन तो मैं बीमार तो मैं डॉक्टर के पास गई मैंने बोला मुझे ना फीवर लगता है और मेरा बीपी लो है उसने मेरा बीपी देखा बीपी नॉर्मल फीवर भी नहीं था मैंने बोला फिर मुझे क्या हुआ है कह रहे हैं आपने कुछ टाइम दिन पहले टेंशन ली थी मैंने कहा हाँ जी कहते हैं ओके ओके ये लो दवाइयाँ ये खा लेना एक महीना हाँ तो मैं मैं घर आई मैंने उसको फिर मैंने अपने बेटे से पूछा कि क्या है कह रहा मम्मा ये तो एंजाइटी है डिप्रेशन की मैंने कहा ओफो मैंने कहा अच्छा ये मतलब ये टेंशन लेने से मुझे ये हो गया है तो मैंने बोला नहीं दवाइयों पे नहीं जाना है उसी दिन से सोचा नहीं अब सोचना नहीं है अब बस टेंशन नहीं लेनी है जो होगा देखा जाएगा शरीर अपना ख़राब नहीं करना है मेरे को तो उससे मेरे काम पे और मेरी बॉडी पर तो फ़र्क पड़ता ही पड़ता After interviewing these three people, I learned that everyone had an entirely different reason behind the social anxiety. After doing these three interviews, the last person I interviewed is an actor who earlier had a problem speaking in a public scenario. A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U. Uh, I'm Devraj Bhattacharjee and I'm 20 years old. Well, I've been born and brought up in Delhi, but my parents are from West Bengal. Currently, I'm pursuing BA program from Sri Venkateshwara College, Delhi University. And apart from that, uh, I'm also in the theatre society of my college, so I've been also pursuing theatre since the last three years. Well, when I think of anxiety, I majorly think some sort of fear regarding something which actually stops you from doing something or actually creates. a sense of discomfort for yourself well yes i have experienced anxiety uh, when i was in school i still remember i used to stammer a lot so that actually pulled me back from doing certain things which i could actually uh, pursue actually uh, uh, even during conversations with my friends i used to take a step back because i always had this uh, i always uh, had this fear that they'll make fun of me so yes not only my friends but also the people who i don't know like who are observing me obviously in a school setting everyone observes everyone uh, like uh, everybody so uh, i think you make a judgment about that person so i didn't want to be judged as a uh, as a guy who stammered who didn't have much confidence so yes i used to take a step back from all of that you can say social anxiety is something which uh, makes you act differently in front of people 
one of the major reasons of my social anxiety has been stammering the only reason i can say yeah because uh, uh in front of people i always had this fear that uh how how do i say this how do i convey my message how do i give my contribution how do i take part in this conversation how do i take part in discussions in the classes uh if there were any recitations if the teacher asked me to recite anything i i would always take a step back and always be the last one to give it so yes it didn't came into realization suddenly but yes i always had this in mind that oh my god i stammer how uh, how do i overcome this how do i overcome that because i wanted to take part in the annual day also in the dramatics in my school but i could never do that because uh, i don't know something just pulled me back and i regret that a lot so when i joined my the- uh, uh, dramatic society it was like uh what happened that in school i always used to imitate my friends i used to imitate certain people so i was famous in my class for that so i said why not try dramatics in school so i i came to college i i actually registered for dramatic society uh i was really shocked when i cleared the first round so i i still am so uh after that when i came into the dramatic society i don't know it was my seniors who trained me and uh, they 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 gave me various tips how to overcome my stage fright i had a lot so how to uh, control my breath how not to stammer how to take my dialogues properly yeah. i was uh, something i was a different person in my first year as compared to my third year like end of the third year so i have a lot more confidence i'm confident about what i'm doing and yes uh, since i've been doing street plays you have to perform in front of around 200 300 people so i think uh, that's what gives you confidence when you actually have to uh, like uh, carry forward a message to them i think the major thing has been self awareness obviously because i was aware of what i'm doing and uh, i was always aware of my anxiety i was always aware of my problems i was always uh, consciously aware of my uh, like fear so i had to overcome that and i overcame it eventually i still stammer a bit but i think that stays or it will go away i don't know anxiety uh, yes my anxiety has been a major part why i like i i always wanted to overcome this thing and uh, for that it really pushed me i mean, it burned a fire sort of thing inside of me and so it actually pushed me to do some it actually pushed me to overcome it uh, so uh, my anxiety my social anxiety helped me to overcome my stammering so i would say that uh, healthy anxiety actually pushes you to do something you wouldn't do actually uh, dramatics has helped me to express myself because earlier i couldn't express myself properly as i i didn't used to speak that much so now i used to exp- uh now what i do i express myself what i feel whatever i feel i express myself creatively you can say through writing or through my acting i don't write that much obviously but yes i do act so yes well i would like to anxiety is a temporary issue if not temporary if it is permanent i think you should work upon that you should start questioning yourself that why why i shouldn't uh go forward why should move forward why, why should i take a step back so you should work upon yourself basically yeah kyunki main us desh ka pradhan mantri aayo bhano har har modi har har modi So this was the last person I interviewed and I was pretty inspired by his story looking at how he challenged himself throughout. So the main reason behind making this documentary was to highlight where all social anxiety exists and how different people are tackling it. And the main reason that the main solution that came out of it was self awareness that self awareness helps you a lot self awareness basically leads to self acceptance which declutters your mind and makes you focus more and makes you feel confident this is what i learned and also that anxiety has affected people in an healthy manner also which because of which they challenge themselves 
to do things which they weren't able to do before because of their anxiety or because of their social anxiety. So this is what I learned and also I met a lot of other people whom I couldn't interview like a teacher who said she always has to be in that noble persona that she has to be mannered, she has to dress well, she has to be punctual. So that was her anxiety in relation to her students. And also an Uber driver who had no time for anxiety. He said, I have my own manners and etiquettes to deal with customers, but anxiety has no place. This is how I earn my living and that's how I go about it. So this is what I wanted to convey and this is what I have that how different people are facing anxiety and how social anxiety is a part of everyone's life at a certain and how social anxiety is a part of everyone's life at a certain level yeah so this is what i have and this is what i wanted to show thank you also this is an ongoing project so i'll be looking at interviewing more people and learning from them thank you